G'day Ziggy D here, it's Monday the 26th of November here in Australia and welcome to what is likely to be the last Monday Musings for the year. Uh, I'm not planning on cancelling the show or anything but it's getting close to Christmas and I also have to move houses in December so uploads might be a little bit sketchy over the next month or so. I'll probably give you another update on what will be happening in terms of content over the break in a few days time. So it's an appropriately rainy day here today and for today's Monday's Musings I'm actually going to be answering a question in which I'm more than happy to do so feel free to send your own Musings to my YouTube inbox. Uh, today's question however comes in the form of a comment from the Truss which I believe means the tomato and that's awesome. <laughs> so the question is, Ziggy, why do I feel so depressed and like I'm wasting my life playing video games? I love them but I feel like I'm wasting my time. What would you do in my situation? I did respond to this comment briefly at the time, but it got me thinking and I wanted to expand upon my answer here a bit today, because I think it's a pretty serious issue for a lot of gamers. Firstly, I know the feeling you're talking about. I've dealt with depression a few times in my own life, and I've also encountered the feeling like I was wasting time playing video games plenty of times before. I'm actually pretty sure that most gamers will have this feeling at least some point for a variety of different reasons. I think the feeling that you're wasting your time gaming usually comes from one of two places. Either there's something else that you want to or have to be doing, uh, but for some reason you're putting it off, or there's the general feeling that games aren't a legitimate use of your time, which is often an idea supported by other people around you, and I'll, I'll talk about that a bit later as well. So firstly, let's tackle the idea that you actually feel like you should be doing something else when you're gaming. This could be as simple as you are literally spending too much time gaming and are not fulfilling your other obligations, such as study, relationships, or other hobbies that you're into. I think this is probably the most common issue that most gamers will face and because it's just because gaming is an easy way to distract ourselves from the things that we don't want to do or want to do but are a bit nervous or reluctant to get into it for some reason. Breaking the non-gaming stuff I should be doing down into chunks seems to help me a lot. For example, instead of thinking that I have to get this whole article done for a client because it's overdue, I just do a paragraph in between each farming runs on Diablo 3 and within an hour or two it's done with no real issue. You can do this with almost anything too. Instead of thinking that I need to spend more time with my friends, I don't spend enough time with them. Instead, try and break it into smaller chunks that you can actually take action on. Like say, every second afternoon you spend an hour or two with someone, or you make a Skype call every couple of days, or on the weekend you go out to the movies, or something like that. The main point is to not give yourself this massive list of things that you should be doing instead of gaming. Otherwise you'll probably just shut down and not do any of it at all. So that's all well and good for when you know the other things that you want to or need to be doing, but what about if you're just having this feeling like you want to be doing something else when you're gaming, but you don't really know what that is? Well, I don't actually think this is so much of a problem with gaming specifically, but more of a problem with that you've not explored your own interests enough. I think a lot of people get into this cycle of just doing what they always do, whether it's working, gaming, or watching TV, and they don't spend enough time searching for other things that interest them. The first step to breaking this spell of repetition in your life is to start training yourself to make conscious decisions. Actually something one of my high school teachers taught me was that uh, this changing and breaking yourself out of this spell of repetition could be as simple as driving a different route home. We sort of get on autopilot a lot in our lives and driving is a really good example of that. We sort of autopilot our typical route home and often you'll get home without even realizing that you've been you've driven the whole thing and you won't even be able to remember any of the drive. So making this conscious decision to drive a different route and take different streets and different corners where you actually have to think about it really sort of snaps you out of that trance. Eventually, if you start doing this in a few small areas of your life, you can take this idea further and do things like spend an afternoon doing something you wouldn't normally do, or you, you could like start googling something you've never googled before, or talking to other people that you never wouldn't normally talk to. Once you start do, doing this occasionally, then you might find that these little paths of interest start to appear that you can follow to find other cool things that you might be keen on doing. So the final thing I want to touch on is when the idea that gaming is a waste of time is given to you by other people and when it's not actually justified in your own life. Firstly, I want to say that gaming is a medium that has a massive amount to offer people, ranging from entertainment and escapism to skill building and even character defining experiences. Gaming has definitely shaped who I am in a positive way. They've allowed me to explore ideas and concepts that I wouldn't have otherwise. They've allowed me to enter situations outside of the normal world, and they've given me both physical and mental challenges to test myself against. 
Games like Final Fantasy VII, StarCraft II, Diablo III have all had varied and huge impacts on my life. You should definitely allow yourself to recognise the positives of the gaming medium, even when other people are saying that they're only a waste of time. Sure, games can be used as a distraction and a time waste, but they can also do a whole lot of good. It's actually up to you in the end how what you get out of gaming and how you treat gaming in your life, and having being open to the idea that gaming can give you positive experiences will allow you to be able to have those positive experiences as well. So although that's my main answer to the Trials' question, I do want to make one final serious note on this topic. Gaming can and has been used as a positive treatment for some forms of depression. I've read a lot about this, I'm sure some of you guys have read a bit about it too. However, excessive gaming has been proven to aggravate serious cases of depression. This is mainly because gaming is a naturally sedentary activity, you sit still a lot and you're not getting much exercise, and lack of exercise is a huge issue in depression for many people. If you feel like you might be suffering from depression or anxiety, then the best things you can do are to talk to a doctor about it and to try and break up your gaming sessions a bit with some more exercise. Sorry to end on a bit of a sombre note, but I want to see all you gamers happy and healthy so you can really enjoy your gaming for a long time to come. That's it for today, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.